Hi, I am Rashmi from Just Tutors and today we are going to learn about transportation in animal and plant. Under this lesson we are going to cover this topic that called heart beat. So let's have a look with some pre-assessment questions that will help you to learn the lesson better. Question 1 says which gas goes the human being which gas does the human being exhale while breathing? So think about the two gases that help in breathing. So the gas that we exhale, that we that that not useful or useful for us. So which gas is it? It's carbon dioxide. Absolutely correct. Question two. Which human organ plays the main role in breathing? So think about the human part and let us know the, na the name of the main part of the human organ that helps in breathing. Yes, that's heart. So let's learn in detail about heartbeat. The heart is an organ which beats continuously to act as a pump. So it works as a pump that throws the blood continuously for the transport of blood which carries other substances with it to avoid mixing of oxygen rich and carbon dioxide rich blood. The heart has four chambers. So again the heart has four chambers that helps to distinguish oxygen rich and carbon dioxide rich blood. The two upper chambers are called atria and the singular of atria is atrium and the two lower chambers are called ventricles. It's roughly the size of your fist. It is located slightly to the left. So the size of the heart is roughly the size of your fist. And it's located slightly left to your, in your human body. This is the detailed diagram of a heart. Let's have a look on the four chambers that we have learned. So here we have right atria and other side we would have left atria. Here we have right ventricle and here we have left ventricle. There are some other important parts of the heart. The one is at the top called superior vena cava and here we have aorta. Here we have mitral valve and here we have tricuspid valve. They all play a really important role in human heart. Here we have some more about heartbeat. The walls of the chamber of the heart are made up of muscles. These muscles contrast and relax rhythmically. You must have observed when you breathe in, you feel slightly inward and when you breathe out, you feel slightly outward. So this is kind of rhythmically relax while breathing. The rhythmic contraction followed by its relaxation constitute a heartbeat. A doctor uses a stethoscope as a device to amplify the sound of the heart. You must have observed that when a doctor goes to check his patient, first thing he does, he put the stethoscope, he plug the stethoscope and and throw this chest pee and throw this this circular thing. He put that thing on the on the patient chest and then he listen the heart breathe very carefully and it helps to amplify the sound of the heart. It consists of a chest piece that carries a sensitive diaphragm, two ear pieces and a tube joining the bone. You can see the proper diagram of the stethoscope 
given at the bottom. So we have done with our discussion of heartbeat and if we move forward we have few questions that will analyze how much we have retained about the lesson. The first question is what are the chambers in heart and describe their functions. So we learned about the four cham cham chambers and we have differentiated them by left and right. You have to recall their names and also what are their functions. Question 2 says which device is used to amplify the sound of the heart. So think about the name of the device that doctor use when they need to listen the heartbeat of the human. I hope you will get the answers of these questions. If you face any difficulty, you can get back to the lesson, learn one more time, go through with the headings and complete the practice questions. This is all for the day. For more, please visit Just Tutors. Thank you for watching.